Hello to you and welcome to my ID3. So today is the 29th of August. Yesterday over 700 ID3s arrived in Oslo, Norway. The reports are saying more cars are coming on Monday and several more in the week and the weeks to come. So at the same time uh, the dealership in Norway, Mönlerbil, uh, they have uh, an app and a website that is called mittbilhold.no or my car where you can be in contact with your dealer in regards to service and so forth. That is also where uh, you can see that the car is ordered. And now um, yesterday at the same time as the cars arrived a checklist arrived. Uh, where you as a customer can go through uh, a few videos to see some instructions how the first ride of the car is supposed to or how you should drive the car and when you can check uh, check each uh, that you have seen each movie in each video and uh, your contact at the dealership will see that you have gone through the checklist and is and, and that you are ready to uh, to drive the car. I guess that it's some way to use as little time as possible uh, so he doesn't have to go through the list with you when you arrive to pick up your car. So I thought uh, we could take a look at the, the checklist and see the movies. They are pretty short from uh, under a minute to two and a half minutes. So I'll go through each video and you'll see them here okay so here we are at the checklist and uh, i've already checked the several videos because i've seen them of course and uh, my uh, my contact person will see that i have seen all uh, the movies so let's go through them this one is uh, in general about the functions of the car Your first drive in your ID3, a new beginning. Get in, start the car, drive off. It's easier than ever before. From unlocking the door to parking safely once you've arrived, the ID3 keeps things simple. You will soon notice that you can operate everything intuitively. You use a vehicle key to unlock the car. Your ID3 recognizes the key on approach and will automatically unlock all the doors and the tailgates if you so wish. Please fasten your seatbelt and step on the brake pedal. Your ID3 will now show you that it's ready to go. The gear selector is very intuitive to use. To set off, you tilt it forward away from you. To reverse, simply tilt it backwards towards you. As soon as you start driving, the parking brake is released automatically. And now your ID3 is ready for some fun on the road. Once you've arrived at your destination, park your ID3 and push the park button on the side of the gear selector while pressing down the brake pedal. The red P in the ID display indicates that the parking brake has been activated. You can now exit the car. Your ID3 will lock the doors when you swipe the door handle or use the vehicle key in the customary way. Volkswagen. So that was the first video. The second one is about the ID light. Let's see that one. Your first drive in your ID3. Your ID3 with its innovative ID light. A car with character. Your ID3 communicates with you, can alert you to dangers, and signals whether the natural language voice control system is listening to or responding to the driver or the front passenger. The navigation system provides turn-by-turn -turn navigation prompts. The ID light shows incoming phone calls and the status of the charging process.
Volkswagen. Then it's about usability, uh, the innovative usability, user friendliness, maybe the better word. It's uh, the longest one, I think. Your first drive in your ID3. Everything at your fingertips. You are in charge. Control your ID3 intuitively and safely using the multifunction steering wheel or the central display. In addition, there are touch controls that provide quick access to all features. The multifunction steering wheel in the ID3 has two touch sensitive control panels that provide tactile feedback. The right one controls multimedia functions and the ID display. You can also use it to activate the natural language voice control system as an alternative to saying hello ID. The left one provides direct access to driver assist systems such as ACC and travel assist. The light and sight control panel can be found to the left of the ID display. You use it to control the lights, window heating and windscreen ventilation. Or simply select the function Auto and the car will always select the most appropriate settings for you. You can easily access all functions of your ID3 via the central touchscreen display, which works just like a smartphone. Tapping and swiping is all it takes to control all relevant vehicle functions. The message center displays various notifications and you can also use it to customize the layout of the central display. The home screen, with its user-configurable tiles, provides an instant overview of all the data you'd like to keep track of. Select your preferred temperature and volume settings by using the convenient touch sliders. The direct access panels below provide shortcuts to the menu, driver assist systems, driving profile selection and air conditioning settings. With the ID display, key driving data such as range, driver assist systems, gear selection and navigation are always in view. Volkswagen. Okay, the next one is about voice control. Your first drive in your ID3. Easy to use, ready when you are. Address your ID3 by saying hello ID. It will understand you and take you straight to the main functions. If you say, hello ID, my feet are cold. Your ID3 can tell whether that was you speaking or your front passenger and will adjust the temperature accordingly. Alternatively, you can activate the natural language voice control system using the right hand control panel on the multifunction steering wheel. Volkswagen. All right, and the last one is about the head-up display, my favorite, uh, only available in the Max. Your first drive in your ID3. Eyes on the road and everything within sight. Keep the most important information for your journey and route in view at all times. The windscreen is the largest display inside your ID3, with one of the world's first augmented reality head-up displays to feature in a production vehicle. It projects all the data important to you onto the windscreen. That includes your current speed, the most relevant traffic signs and your active driver assist systems. In addition, turn prompts from the navigation system are projected directly onto the view of the road in front of you. Volkswagen. I'm not sure if uh, I'm allowed to show you these uh, videos, but uh, I will do it anyway. And if uh, Volkswagen thinks it's a bad thing to do, well, I'll remove it. I would think that Volkswagen thinks it's cool and all right if I show you this, because I feel I'm helping. So <laughs> if not, I'll take it down. 
So, what do you think guys? Easy checklist? Yeah, I would think so. Not much uh, information that we didn't know, I think, but what did you catch? Please tell me in the comments below. See you in the next one. Snuckies.